Hello everybody, Ian Robson here, welcome back to Valley East USA. Alright, we've got a couple things going on today. As you can see, we have $56, uh, not very much money, but we do have some cash hopefully rolling in soon. I got the John Deere 8400, currently pushing a bale. And I've run this problem before and I think, I, I know what I'm going to add, I think, uh, in order to solve this problem. But I haven't added it in yet. Uh, I don't think. Let me check. Let's see. Is it a miscellaneous? Nope. 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 Maybe it's in front loaders. Probably not, but... Anyways, there is something I was going to add. I don't know. I forget where it's from. Uh, but I'll have to add it back in. Basically, I'll have to change the tractor out for a different tractor. But it's basically like a push bar that goes in the front, so the bale gets moved over because uh, every now and then there'll be a bale that's off to the left just a little bit more than the other ones so that's what happens it gets stuck it still works though anyway so we'll get about fifteen thousand dollars from this guy right here once he goes and sells his first load of hay and uh, then we can move on to other things uh, let's move this guy there our field here so I must say the crone big M just rocks through the field it's awesome it's like almost diabolical how easy this thing just mows the fields. It makes uh, having a hay farm like this just a breeze. I couldn't imagine what it would do for one lonely farmer. I imagine it would be pretty uh, pretty amazing for him, but uh, fixing it and all that jazz would be the hard part. Uh, but for now I think he has the speed rower still, or not the speed rower, the uh, John Deere W235 or something like that. I can never remember the number. Uh, but it, it seems working well enough for him, so it's good. All right, let's get this guy driving. There we go. Perfect. And what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to go ahead and sell that canola that we harvested in the previous episode. There we go. Grab the truck and go sell some canola. Because that's all we really have to sell at this point. Uh, canola, there we go. It'll be about, uh, we'll still sell one load, we don't need both loads, but uh, we need to go to the Valley Co-op. I wish more maps incorporated like dynamic pricing so it wasn't always the same place. I know some maps actually do have that capability, but it's I know it's not common. Um, so, like having one place that will be like the best place to sell that time and then you go back uh, like later on you a different day you would have like a, a different price and it wouldn't be as high because what happens in a lot of the uh, farm sim maps is there's always one place that has like the highest value so valley co-op right now in this map is the highest value uh, if we double check let's see valley co-op valley freight valley mountain yeah see there's only three places and uh, Valley Co-op, where's Valley Mountain? On the top left hand corner. Of the, actually, let's, let's go there, let's go to the freight yard. Let's just check what the, what the price difference is real quick. Well, $30 a ton, well, we'll, we'll, we'll survive. Let's go for a bit of a drive. I haven't even been, I don't think I've been up that side of the, actually that's not true, I have been up there, but I just don't remember. All right. Lucky for us, we have a very powerful truck that can pull two of these grain buggies back to back without a problem. Uh, it's a bit slower though. It's a good hauling little vehicle, but uh, still needs a little bit of work in my opinion. But maybe we will have uh, some other possibilities later on. Uh, I know off the Offspring Gaming is uh, releasing some trucks in the near future. Uh, and he has released a couple trucks. Um, they're okay. Not uh, not amazing, not terrible, but somewhere in the middle. Oh, slow down. Let's go this way. Um, so they're kind of in the middle somewhere. But hopefully we'll see some very uh, solid stuff from his crew uh, in the near future. Apparently he bought the model for the truck too, uh, for a low boy, which I was like, really? So I guess he's what he's doing is he's actually buying the, uh, well, this is a cool little section. It's dead end. Nice. Uh, apparently, he's like buying the uh, buying the models, I guess, and then 
giving them to his crew to uh, to fix or change or do whatever they need to do. Is that the cell point right there? It looks like it is. And that's the freight yard? Yep. Oh, really? Can I not drive all the way around here? I guess not. Luckily, we're in a truck. If we were in a semi, that might have been a bit more of a problem. All right. How much money would I get from this? Probably not very much, if I'm honest. There we go. First trailer load. Nice. Ah, we're making money. What's this? Oh, this is for... Transportation from silo? No. Send off train. Oh, do you make double money here? Because of... Hmm, that would be interesting. And we're going to make money from, of course, this hay, the hay bales that are being sold right now as well, which is awesome. This isn't going to work out very well. <laughs> Nice. I wonder if you can sell off this. This is a lumber mill up here too, isn't it? No, it's not. Strange. Let's try it out and see what happens. It might just be for wood chips though. $31,000? I can live with that. Let's see here. Let's just try. Just for the sake of uh, experimentation. Uh, because I have this here and I don't... And maybe it's only for wood chips? Mountain fresh. Hmm. Let's check. Wood chips. Where do we sell wood chips? No, it's not here. Hmm. Let's send the train off and see what happens. Maybe we'll make some more money. That would be cool. Besides, it's a train. It's fun to watch. Do we just make more money from that? Yeah. Uh, no, there we go. Nice trains. Sugar beets. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see what happens. So I have $34,000. Keep that in mind. Maybe we will make some more money, maybe we won't. Oh my goodness, this is a... It's a bit of a tight area. That would have been better if it had... Uh, uh, how do we get to the other spots? Hmm. I guess they want you to go through the field? It's the only way I see that's... Uh, wow, really? Holy smokes, we just made an extra $27,000. <laughs> okay, I, I was expecting maybe a thousand or something, but no, we made 27,000, 27 extra from that. Is that is that right? Somehow I think that's not right. Let me know what you guys think about that. Hey, we have $60,000 now. I'll live with it. Ah, uh, that is ridiculous. So here we are in the little town. I've never been up in this little section of town. Uh, so a little quick stop there, and that's where you sell the eggs apparently. So what we'll do is, let's just check over here, ATM machine, transportation, open job board. Oh, we have job boards. I totally forgot about those. No thanks. I think I'll pass. Um, yeah, let's take a look around town. I've never been around here, so take a little bit of a drive. It's only a small little section of town, so, huh. Very nice. Houses, houses. Very cool. Uh, here's another cell point. Which one's this? This is the Mountain Fresh something. Yeah, I guess the map creator, I'm not sure if they had uh, semi trucks in mind, but I'm not doing this with a semi truck, but I imagine if I were, I'd have a little bit of a hard time maneuvering in some areas. I, I, I suspect at least. I'm not an expert, but oh, there's a train coming back. What do you guys think about that? That seems a bit OP. $27,000 from that? Yep. I don't know. I rarely, I rarely uh, go to the train yard, but maybe I should start going there more often because of, uh, of the price of, um, <laughs> I don't know, the second sell you get. Uh, here's the shop. I feel like this is the first time I'm traveling around the map. There's so many, this happens so often with maps uh, because Often you only have to go to certain areas on a map, so you don't rarely have to explore other areas. This is where you get saplings, I suppose. Why would we want saplings? I don't know. What's farming simulator, not logging simulator? Sheesh. Although it is a, there are agribusinesses related to forestry, so 
Maybe it's called agroforestry, I don't know. Oh, slide. So, anyways, what I'll do is, <laughs> instead of me babbling on and uh, driving around the map randomly, uh, what we'll do is, uh, I'll meet you back at the farm. Oh, nice little mountain area here. Nice. I'll meet you back at the farm, and then we'll go from there. Alright, so we're back here at the dairy farm here. And I just wanted to point this out to you guys. Remember how we had corn a while back? Uh, so it's finally fermented. And I'm not sure what exactly it is. So I kind of want to test it out. Uh, because I don't think it's all the same. So this looks like it's different than this for some reason. Maybe this right here is silage and that's not. I don't know for sure. Hmm. And then this is probably not fermented at all. Interesting. So that's what happens when you don't fully ferment. Apparently a mass Ferguson stuck on something. How was how did it hit a tree this time? That's so odd. Oh there it goes. Thank goodness for the AI of course play. I'm starting to realize to back up and stuff like that. Sheesh. Excellent. Anyway, so we do have sixty-one thousand dollars. So we could actually buy a front loader, but what I was thinking was uh, we could either we could get a skid steer technically, but in all honesty, the skid steer is not going to be super helpful for us. In or is it? I don't think it's going to be super helpful for us. But we never we never buy the skid steer. Maybe we should get it just for the sake of getting it. Hmm. Does this hold uh, wood chips, manure? Silage, sugar beets, potatoes, chaff. Da, da, da. Uh, I think we're going to run into the same problem. That holds chaff as well. Yeah, so the problem we're going to run into again is uh, many of the in game. Or maybe they do and I just don't realize. Let's just check this. Front loaders. Does that hold forage? Maybe it. Hmm. Doesn't appear to. Strange. But anyways, we could get a skid steer and use that for uh, use that for something. But in reality, I think the maybe a wheel loader might be better. I suspect wheel loader, front loader. So we have that. That's part of the different thing. So hmm. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. What we should do about that? Uh, I do. I do want to see what that actually is. Um, I do want to see what this actually is, and I'm kind of curious. And I think it might be somewhat like manure type scenario and some something else so because this definitely has not fermented right here uh, as you can see and then this changes in here so I'm, I'm kind of curious that's what happens when you don't do a very good job of uh, compacting so uh, what else could we do uh, we could get a smaller tractor like an older one could get this with a front loader set up just to uh, just to check would be a cheap solution or we can get this the case puma IH. this is actually a nice little tractor I like it hundred sixty five thousand dollars though hmm not sure if we have that laying about we only have five thousand dollars left five thousand liters left of canola so it'll be interesting anyways I saw I just thought I'd point that out to you guys as I was driving by it I was like oh yeah we have that uh, so if it is indeed manure or is classified as manure we should totally like spray manure on our fields because we never do that because we rarely have enough uh, manure to do that and right now we technically have one field that can uh, that we need to spray anything on if we have the soil mod installed on this map uh, you would actually have to deal with your uh, hay crops as well uh, that actually does come into play a little bit more in that scenario here though for now it doesn't do anything there we go uh, let's go over this way and we'll park these up just on the other side of this I think we should probably move that to uh, trailer there we go perfect that's good there nice let's move that trailer too so of course this is the PJ trailer people often ask me where did I get this trailer most of the American, a lot of the American style stuff I tend to get from American Eagle Modding. Not all of it, but a good chunk of it. There we go. Fold that up. We haven't done much hauling. We haven't needed to. Honestly, it's been, the like, shop's just so close, it's actually a lot faster and uh, usually more efficient to just drive a tractor there, if I'm honest. Um, 
I don't know. Everyone does it slightly differently, I guess. So, we'll just park this in here. I have a sneaky suspicion I may have uh, clipped the side there, but you would never know. There we go. We actually do need another tractor. Uh, for situations like this, where we have our Master Ferguson and then we have our uh, John Deere in action, like they are right now. There we go. That's better. Uh, in action like right now so we could replace it with something in the front loader area so like one of these i think there's a case puma that's actually even more powerful than this one uh i'd have to look around for it though and i think it's done by timber as well if memory serves case puma puma however you want to say it i like messing with people by saying puma i did it with my niece a while back she didn't find it too funny though <laughs> all right this guy's done. See, look at that. This guy's all done. Perfect. No problem. Finishes in a snap. We'll just park him here for the time being. It's out of the way. Good place to start as well. But um, let's reseal this. Because if you don't reseal this, it actually will rot if it's not already rotten in this scenario. So, Ooh, nice. Going for another cell. This guy's finishing up the last bit here, which is excellent. And we can go from there. Nice. Once you have it once you have like all the systems in place, it actually doesn't take a, a terribly long time to get things uh rolling. Um the only down the only like slow point here is the the number of bales you can pick up and carry with you at one given any given time. So sixteen of course is the maximum. So because of that you kind of are limited in some scenarios. But I could I could easily have this guy. He could finish the whole field before uh, your other tractor starts. Basically, it's pretty easy to get it going. Unloading bales, we can expect another sixteen thousand or so. There we got sixty thousand. Watch carefully, sixty thousand up to up to what seventy. 74, there you go, about 14,000-ish. Nice. So now we have $74,000. So what we can do is, uh, uh, we can, I think we're gonna do a couple things. We're gonna maybe expand. We could actually get that wrapper too. Uh, we could get another field here. That's a possibility. Or we could get some more equipment, one or the other. Well, I'm not sure yet. I think we should probably expand though. Let's check the price of this field here. Which one is this? I don't think we can actually afford this one yet. Just uh, based on what I'm thinking. No. $272,000. So maybe what we'll do is we will uh, get a wrapper and maybe do that as well. Who knows? Uh, I'll have to install it though, of course. But anyways, folks, I think what we'll do is we'll stop it there for the time being. I'll let these guys uh, continue their work and we'll see how much money we end up with. And then we shall go from there. I'm just gonna stop this guy. Because what happens is he will return to the first point, which uh, normally isn't a problem, but when you're uh, when you're the bailer it is a problem because then you just run into everything else. <laughs> so anyways folks, like I said, I'll end the episode there for now. Uh, my name is Ian Robson. This has been Farming Simulator 2015 coming at you from Valley East, USA. And if you enjoyed yourself, why don't you go ahead and hit that share button. I really appreciate that. Catch you guys later.